Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. The NBA draft is over. Free agency is just around the corner, and the odds for the Rookie of the Year are released by Vovato Sportsbook. They have some intriguing odds here before free agency starts. Likely will close, I think, before uh, before free agency begins as well, because these could be shuffled around a lot after July 1st. But, of course, no-brainer in this one. Uh, ben Simmons coming in as the overall favorite to win the award, plus 325 from Bovada Sportsbook. Of course, landed on the perfect team. There's really not much you uh, can see say in, in uh, really to get down on Ben Simmons other than his team did not make the NCAA tournament during college. He is somewhere in the upside range in between Draymond Green and LeBron James and if he comes out and dominates his first year in the league, I think this award is his to lose. That being said, plus 325 does have a little bit of downside here. Joel Embiid is 12-1 to 1 to win this same award. If he is healthy in the second coming of Hakeem Olajuwon, going to make it a little bit tough, tougher for Ben Simmons to win this award, but right now, it's his award to lose. Now, next up surprisingly is Buddy Heald, who went to basically the perfect team in the New Orleans Pelicans, I think, for him. Suffering, just got through suffering four or five years of Eric Gordon, who uh, makes it even more uh, damaging and painful to watch when you realize that he was the main cog. They got back for the Chris Paul trade way back when. At plus 650, Heald could come in and shoot and defend his way into the Rookie of the Year odds. In this one, I think he has a very good chance to win the award. Plus 650 is pretty good odds as well, too, so he might be one of my better plays at this point. Now, next up, it's plus 650 also is Brandon Ingram. A lanky, now small forward for the Los Angeles Lakers is going to have a lot of room to get some shots up now that Kobe Bryant is not there. But big issue, like I said at the beginning, is free agency has not yet started. The Lakers, they could bring in some big name free agents. If that's the case, then uh, uh, Ingram's value really, I think, lessens a little bit at plus 650. I think at the same price, yields a little bit better of a play. Now, guy whose name was mentioned a lot on draft night after draft night, Chris Dunn is, of course, uh, he was rumored in some trades, but Ended up sticking with the Timberwolves. Looks like he might end up being the starting point guard there. He is definitely a Tom Thibodeau guy. Has the ability to be an elite defender and uh, has some really good ability to score the basketball as well. Not much of a shooter just yet, but with Ricky Rubio and Zach Levine still on the uh, roster, if one of those guys gets traded, I like him a little bit better here at 750. But uh, with Rubio still there and with uh, Levine likely taking some minutes and some ball handling duties as well, not the greatest of the bet. Now the field is interesting. You have some guys like I mentioned, Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid at 12 to one. Uh, maybe even a guy like. Like Denzel Valentine at that same price. But right now, as I said, I think this is Simmons' award to lose. We'll see more, obviously, as free agency starts. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today, and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.